Hi friends, welcome back to Learning Flutter. In today's video, we will be seeing a widget which is uh, helpful in creating responsive, uh, responsive layouts. So this is also called responsive layout widget and it has a single child to it. So it comes under the category of single child layout widget and it is called fitted box uh, widget. So uh, it solves the widget overflow problem by scaling and positioning its child, the single child that it has uh, within the parent widget. So for example, uh, the things at the left side here, so this is the rendering in the web view, uh, sorry, in the Flutter web and in the Chrome. And if this picture at the left side is a uh, there are two images which are placed next to each other and here one image has enough space to be displayed but in here uh, it's overflowing. So what a fitted widget does, it scales it automatically and positions it in a way uh, where both of the widgets can come uh, and fit uh, and, uh, and, and, and can fit in a responsive way in a uh, container, its container. So how we can do this? Uh, so as we had, we had a row of two, these two uh, children, which has like an icon, flutter icon in both the two image uh, widgets and which is sitting in a row. And so what we have to do is we just have to wrap, it, uh, wrap uh, this row inside a fitted box widget and that will take care of it. Fitted box also have few properties like fit, uh, which has a fit contained, a box fit contained. Um, cover and so on so that helps it uh, more aligning like how you what you want it to contain it like you want the maximum size or you want to scale it uh, like in height wise or width wise and stuff like that all right so I have here uh, my uh, web app uh, here is the here flutter web is running in the chrome and I created here it's a little a drop down box which switches from no, no fitted box to fitted box. So if I click fitted box, it automatically will scale it. And if I say no fitted box, it will overflow. And uh, so how, so this is the code for this. So other code is just to achieve this uh, nicer drop down and stuff like that. But the real working code is right here. So I have the row of images is it's a row which has two ch children to it, which is the image assets, uh, image widgets inside and the fitted box. So if it's my, uh, this fitted box drop down is selected, then it wraps these row of images into the fitted box. Otherwise it will render as is. So it's as simple as it is. So now if you want to uh, access this code, so how can you do this? So I have this code uh, uh, available as a GitHub as well. And this is a part of my app, like a Flutter cookbook app, and which has some architecture patterns and uh, responsive widgets. So this is a new app I created in addition to my another one, Flutter cookbook. So it's actually version two, I should put it version two here, uh, which has uh, architecture pattern. Uh, in it. So here it's a fitted box and here when you go you can access uh, the, uh, the widget in action and if you want to look at the code you can go in here and you can see it here like a full code of this whole file and uh, but mo as I said most of the code is used to render this whole thing. The code which is used here here is the fitted box and if you go here in github you can also access this code in the GitHub, which will take you to exactly highlighted code that's being used. So I hope you uh, found this video uh, found this video useful, and now you might have a better understanding of how you can create the responsive layout uh, by using fitted box. This is one of the many uh, layout widgets that you can use, and in Flutter, there are two types of widgets. One is the for layouting the widgets, uh, the layout, uh, the widgets which are used for layouting, like uh, row, column, and expandable flex ADC. And uh, the other type of widgets are like text forms and chips. Card are the one which actually you use for the designing the uh, 
the little parts of it like a drop down so this is uh, this is more like a uh, the widgets we use to create the UI itself and here we've used fitted box to lay out this uh, widgets uh, image widget inside uh, to create this uh, sample app here for example I, I, I hope you found this uh, video useful and I will see you in the next video